Also, Brooks or Trone. U.S. Senate seat for Maryland, Ben Cardin seat. Hello, everyone. If you are here, you probably already know that there is a huge race going on for Ben Cardin's seat, U.S. Senate seat for the state of Maryland. The question is, who is the best person to represent us in that seat? Is it David Trone or is it Angela also Brooks? And why? I will answer that question for you and you will find it later on in this video. So a couple of days ago, I did this thing. I posed a question on a next door neighborhood app that caused quite a stir. I just asked, does anyone find it odd that Anthony Brown, the Maryland state's attorney, former Maryland lieutenant governor and former U.S. congressman who represent a part of Prince George's County, Maryland, has endorsed David Trone over Angela Alsobrooks. Is there something I am missing? Well, in the first 48 hours, um, I received, it received 12,000 views with 37 reactions and 413 comments. Some of them were quite rude, by the way. I'm a big boy, I can take it. So some people were really upset that I would have the audacity to pose such a question. I was called everything but a child of God. Well, I was amazed at some of the responses and some were very well thought out too. So I have to add that too. And I received more than what I bargained for when I asked the question and I learned a lot. There's a lot of very knowledgeable people, people and it was good to get um, their insight. Um, since my post, Angela also Brooks has initiated a curfew for the National Harbor due to crime and safety concerns that young people are wreaking havoc on the residents in that area, in that part of town. Also, there was a mailer that I noticed in a, my mailbox indicating that more officials in Prince George's County, Maryland, than um, Anthony Brown endorsed um, Trone. So he wasn't the only one. Um, there was a Baltimore Sun article that laid out the number of campaign contributions that the quite wealthy David Trone has made to help candidates with their campaigns. Uh, the title of the article was David Trone helped fund campaigns of over 50 officials who were endorsed by him. So let's take a pause. Now, if you like the content, this content, and want to see more like it, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And press like on this video. Now, let's get back to, to brass tacks. Uh, getting back to, the, to my, I call this my, my case study, my observations of what I saw on that next door neighborhood app. Um, there were two camps, and this is just from the blind, the naked eye of what my, what my observations were. My case study. Angela Alsobrooks. Um, Angela Alsobrooks is a polarizing candidate. Her supporters love her and will fight for her until the end. Some like her because they think she has done a great job. Uh, they bring up the new state of the art hospitals, uh, new schools, etc., etc., etc. She is a native daughter of Prince George's County, Maryland. Uh, she finished high school here. Um, she went to Duke University, came back earning a law degree at the University of Maryland. Um, she served under Jack Johnson and was able to become the first black woman to be Prince George's County prosecutor and parlayed that into becoming the first African-American woman to serve as the Prince George's County County Executive. So some support her because they really don't like Trone. Um, his racial gaffe has really turned a, a lot of black people off from supporting him. Now let's talk about the David Trone camp. The Trone supporters love his record. They mention his civil rights record. Um, they believe he has a better chance of beating Hogan than also Brooks. Some really believe also Brooks has done a horrible job in her current role as county executive. They cite the high crime rate, murders, carjackings, auto thefts, robberies. Some mention her staff are lacking in constituent services, saying her office doesn't acknowledge complaints and address issues timely. They believe we may see the same lack of performance at the state and national level if she beats Hogan. So also, they figure that the large number of officials endorsing um, David Trone over also Brooks is pretty much a testimony um, that that's due to the fact that they either don't like also Brooks or they believe Trone is better or they know or believe that David Trone has a better chance than um, Angela also Brooks of defeating Hogan. 
So who is the better candidate for the vacating Maryland U.S. Senate seat? In my opinion, I can't support a person that uses an anti-black racist slur and then acts like they did not know it was a racial slur. David Trone is too old for that. And I'm not buying it. That dog don't hunt. Um, some people are saying, oh, it was a gaffe. Nobody's perfect. He misspoke. He meant to say bugaboo and said the J word and it slipped out. Okay, then confess it and apologize. But don't tell me you didn't know it was a racial slur um, when you were being questioned by an African-American woman when it slipped out. That's, that's some kind of Freudian slip. Um, if you don't know what the J word is I'm referring to, just Google it. Um, David Trone racial slur. Congress, it'll probably pop up. Um, David Trone has a better chance at beating Hogan than also Brooks. Um, then they say to win a battle, I am willing to risk losing the war because David Trone has a better chance of beating Hogan um, than also Brooks. And I ask, where is your faith? Tell me about it. We need to value ourselves. And it needs to start now. There was a community that would have made Trone not only apologize, but they would have demanded he resign his current position or go on a curated tour of the Museum of African American History and Culture, take classes on the J word and racial sensitivity training, go on an apology tour, don donate money to HBCUs, the United Negro College Fund. Now, I'm not, I'm not going that far, but I believe that GAF, with that gaffe comes certain consequences. Also, I believe also Brooks can beat Hogan if we work hard to get it done. Now, I reserve the right to change my mind and vote for the lesser of the two evils in the event Trone defeats also Brooks and takes on and has to take on a Hogan. I believe Hogan as a U.S. senator will not be like Hogan as the GOP so-called beloved um, governor of a blue state. And it would have terrible consequences for many reasons. But for, for now, sticking with the, the primary, I'm going to throw my support behind Angela also Brooks. So please comment. Let me know how you feel. Tell me about it. Real talk. And I want to tell you something. You know, there is no substitute for preparation. That's it for me. Peace. I'm out.